Question number ten is a classic mystery question, and let's see the situation. We need to make thirty liters of thirty percent of the HCI solution, but we only have the twenty five percent and the forty percent solutions to begin with. And as usual, we need to figure out how much of each shall we use in order to get a、um, desired solution, the correct percentage, and then the correct amount. And then we illustrate what's going on with the picture. So first,、uh, I have some cups, okay. And let's say right here I have my twenty-five percent solution. But how much do we need? Like how much do we want to use? We don't know, right? So、uh, we have twenty-five percent of this solution.、Um, I would just say this is x liters. X liters of this amount. I don't know how much that we need to use. Okay, and then we also have、uh, the forty percent solution, and let me draw it like this. And we have the forty percent solution. Again, how much are we going to use? We don't know. We don't know how much we are going to use. So we are going to say this is my y liters that we are going to um you know we are going to take from the um from the supply room. Okay. And then the idea is that you want to take this and you want to put it into here, and then you want to produce.、Um, ideally, you want to produce.、Um, maybe so. This is this much and plus that much should be about that much. Ideally, you want to produce the final solution, which is thirty percent. Okay, the final solution. This is what you want. You want the thirty percent, and. You want the total amount of thirty liters. Thirty liters. So this is what you want. Okay. And notice that if originally you have、um, x amount, x liters right here, and the y liters right here, so together they must add up to thirty, right? They must add up to thirty liters. So x liters. Plus y liters, they have to add up to thirty liters. And notice that I'm not going to do anything with the percentage. I'm not going to add up the percentage. Do not add the percentage. I have twenty five percent here, forty percent here. The reason I get a thirty right here is because the question wants us to make thirty percent. It can be thirty eight. It can be like thirty two. Things like that. So the thirty percent has to come from the form、uh, from the equation, okay? And let's talk about this. The first thing that we look at is the concentrations of each solution, of of each type of the solution that we have. So we have the concentration, right? That's this picture right here, and then the equation right here. It's the volume, what we call the volume, right? How much are we going to use? X liters, Y liters. All together, I want to get thirty liters. And when you have concentration, if you multiply by the volume, what you are going to get, and this is how I call it. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what's the correct、uh, terms that they use in chemistry. But when you have concentration times the volume, you will get the amount of whichever substance that we're dealing with. In this situation. In fact, I actually have no idea what's HCI, but this is how it works: concentration times volume will get amount of substance. So I guess in this question, if we get if we do on twenty five percent times x, we will get like amount of HCI. I usually think about this kind of question as like a sugar water. So,、um, the concentration of the sugar water times how much of the total、uh, solution that you have, then you that's the amount of sugar that you will get. But they like to just change these things around, like HCI or like sometimes the acid, some of the things that maybe you haven't heard before unless you have taken some chemistry class. Anyways, so if we do con、uh, concentration times the volume, that will get the amount of substance, right? So for this one, I have twenty five percent x liters. I'm going to multiply them. And twenty five percent, and let me make a note. Twenty-five percent. It's the same as saying zero point two five. 
Because when we are doing calculations, we want to use decimals instead of the percentage. And then 40% is equal to 0 0.40 or equal to 0 0.4. Okay? You can just move the decimal twice to the left, twice to the left, and get a 0 0.25 and a 0 0.40. And likewise for the 30%, move the decimal twice to the left, which is 0 0.30. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to look at the decimal instead of the percentage. So I need to have 0 0.25 times x. And let me write this in red, I guess. 0 0.25 times x. That's the amount of substance that we'll get from the first cup. Plus 0 0.4. Uh, let me write it as 0 0.40, actually. 0 0.40 times y. And that will be equal to, because... We're talking the amount of the substance. So if you have like some amount here and then some amount here, all together they have to equal to the final final amount. So volume can you can add them, amount of the substance you can also add them. Only concentration, only the percentage. You cannot do twenty five plus forty. Okay, this thirty is from the equation. Okay, so we want to equal to zero point thirty times 30, right? We are still doing the same. Percentage times the volume. Percentage times the volume. 0 0.30 times 30. Okay, so let's see what we have. With this, we have two equations, and then we have x and y. Two unknowns, two equations, perfect. So what we need to do now is have x plus y is equal to 30 from the first equation. And then the second equation we have 0.25x plus 0 0.4, 0.40y, that's equal to, this is 0 0.30 times 30. That's something that's doable, right? So you should calculate it. That should equal to 9. That will be equal to 9. And now, our, uh, what we need to do right now, our job is to just solve for x and y, and that will be it. And we have choices. You can do the substitution method, you can do the elimination method, doesn't matter. Depends on how you would like to do it. However, we have decimals on the second equation, so let's uh, get rid of the decimals. And you see that we have 0 0.25, right? So, and then this is 0 0.40. Let me multiply everything by 100 from the second equation. And then we will get 100 times 0 0.25 you can just move the decimal twice to the right so you get 25 which is a whole number 25x and then you also do 100 times times uh, 0 0.40 which is 40y okay move the decimal twice to the right that's why i purposely write um write, write this as 0 0.40 earlier so we have 40y that's equal to 100 times 9, which is 900. Okay? So the second equation, we can write it as this. And now, let's take a look of the first equation and then the new equation that we have. If you want to do elimination, then uh, you see we have uh, x plus y is equal to 30. Wouldn't it be nice if that's a negative 25x, right? So if you want to do elimination, and that's what I'm going to show you first. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 25. All of them by 25. Negative 25. So that's my negative 25. Negative 25 times x produce the negative 25x. Negative 25 times y, that's minus 25y. And then negative 25 times 30, that is equal to negative 750. And then now we are looking at these two equations only. Okay, now we are going to add these two equations up. Because we have negative 25x plus positive 25x, these two cancel. So we are not dealing with x anymore. Then we are just going to work with this. Negative 25y plus 40y, it's positive 15y, and that's equal to 150. 
and as usual we can divide both sides by 15 and we can get our happy answer y is equal to 10 y is equal to 10 okay so now we know uh, y is equal to 10 and you can go back to the original equations any of them works of course you want to work with the easiest one which should be that one so I will say use um, x plus y is equal to 30 so we can plug in 10 into the y right here and I get x plus 10 is equal to 30 and then as usual subtract 10 subtract 10 then you get this is 0 you get x is equal to 20 you get x is equal to 20 so what this means is uh, if you go back to the picture x is the amount for the 25% solution and y is the amount of the 40% solution so that's something that you just need to write it down for the answer do not just circle x is equal to 20 y is equal to 10 you must write down um, what do this uh, number represent so you can write down as um, 20 liters for the 25% solution solution, I just spelled everything and then y is 10 right? 10 liters for the 40% solution and box your answer and that's it